Ferrari is a team that's facing a lot of changes currently. The latest development was regarding Matteo Bonotto's fate with the team. He's given his resignation, which was accepted by the Maranello team, and apart from this one, the team may lose its star driver from 2025 onwards if things don't drastically improve in their favour. Ferrari has shown the world that they can compete for the championship, however they've also shown that they're very bad when it comes to handling championship pressure, something they've endured since the beginning of 2022. So with Bonotto gone, could we see Leclerc leave the team when his contract expires? Now one huge reason for Leclerc's dissatisfaction with Ferrari was the presence of Mattia Binotto. Ever since Silverstone, it's been reported that he and Binotto are not on speaking terms due to the fact that Leclerc was really damaged by the strategy of Ferrari. In a race where he was supposed to capitalise on Verstappen's poor performance, he finished fourth, with the Dutchman following in seventh place. This is also the race that gave us the iconic picture of Binotto lecturing Leclerc to not speak about the strategy in the media, and obviously Leclerc knows what he's capable of and isn't going to tolerate being disrespected by his own team. But one would accept if this was the only blunder that Ferrari made. We recall Monaco, where Leclerc lost three positions due to his team's strategy, and Budapest, where Ferrari purposefully chose to run on the hard compound tyre despite Alpine's warning that these tyres wouldn't work on this track. Leclerc started P2, and although he was P1 at one point of the race, he finished P6 behind all of the other top competitors from Red Bull and Mercedes. Brazil was the most recent blunder, with Leclerc being the only driver on intermediate tyres throughout qualifying for the sprint race, which resulted in him starting P10. However, this brings us to one crucial point, and that is, will Binotto's sacking mean that Leclerc will instantly improve his performance? And what are some other changes that Ferrari needs to make to strengthen their core for the upcoming season? Obviously, Leclerc would be delighted if Binotto were removed as team principal. Prior to Binotto's decision to leave the team, Leclerc was asked as to how he feels when it comes to this matter. To this, the Monegas had a very mysterious and diplomatic answer, as he added, I've learned not to think about it and not to comment, but generally the best approach is for everyone to be on the same wavelength to make the right decisions together. It doesn't necessarily mean changing people, but it's about the way communication works between engineers, which needs to be clearer. It's not a secret that he and Bonotto struggle to have a good relationship, and obviously, their relationship has reached a point of no return. However, Ferrari's problems are not going to be solved by finding another solution for the team principal's role alone, because they struggled a lot with the tactics and the shot calling. With that being said, the team needs to find a proper replacement for these roles if they want to see success in the 2023 season. Obviously, it's much easier said than done, but now that Binotto, the head of the fish, is gone, some other changes need to follow. Even if Leclerc is much happier with Binotto's decision to step down from his position, it doesn't mean that the problem is solved, far from it. If Ferrari opts to keep the same team of tacticians, rest assured that the shot calling will be an indigo copy of the 2022 season. Therefore, Leclerc would be mad at the new team principal, and things would constantly go in a loop. As of now, the Marinello team hasn't said anything about replacing the tacticians in the team, which is something that Leclerc and Sainz will probably struggle with again in the 2023 season. If this turns out to be the case, which, as of now, there is a high chance that will turn out to be the case, then Leclerc will definitely look at his options beyond 2024. Early in 2021, Leclerc extended his deal with Ferrari until 2024, and it was reported that he plans to do another extension until 2026. However, this extension never saw the light of day, and after the catastrophic season that Leclerc had with Ferrari in 2022, turning from a championship candidate to fighting for P2 in the last race of the season, the extension is far from an acceptable option as of now. Charles spoke about his options in the future, and although he was surprised by the question asked by L'Equipe about his possible choices after the contract with Ferrari ends in 2024, Leclerc didn't rule out other teams beyond the Maranello one. While talking about this matter, Charles said, 2024 is a long time away, and there is still time left at Ferrari. Being at this team has always been my dream. My objective at the moment is to win with Ferrari, and then we'll see. Well, this would be a perfect situation for both teams, given the fact that Mercedes is slowly but surely recovering from a disastrous season in 2022 and has caught up to Ferrari in the second half of the season. The team was able to finish ahead of Ferrari on multiple occasions, with them having a 1-2 finish in Brazil. 
According to Leo Torini, this was the last straw that got Binotto fired from the team, because with Red Bull out of the competition, they weren't able to capitalize on the 1v1 situation with the Silver Arrows. Although the Marinello team had a better outcome in Abu Dhabi and were able to preserve the lead over Mercedes for P2 in the Constructors' Championship, it's far from an outcome that Ferrari would have bet on after the first three races in 2022. As of now, Mercedes is looking forward to continuing the collaboration with Hamilton beyond 2023, but the contract hasn't been signed yet. Although both sides have said that they're going to continue their commitment to each other, with Hamilton praising Mercedes for always being there for him and helping him through thick and thin, one couldn't help but note that Hamilton isn't the old version of himself. He has lost to a teammate for the first time since 2016 when Rosberg won the championship and although Hamilton said that he was the guinea pig for the team in 2022, that doesn't justify the fact that he wasn't able to beat a rookie in Mercedes. And it's clear that Hamilton will serve as an ambassador for Mercedes, assisting the team in returning to its championship winning days as Michael Schumacher did from 2010 to 2013. As a result, if the opportunity to hand over his seat to Charles Leclerc in 2025 presents itself, rest assured that Hamilton would jump at the chance. Early in 2020, Wolf spoke about Leclerc or Verstappen joining Mercedes, saying that he'll be more than delighted to poach some of these drivers for his team. Verstappen has extended his deal with Red Bull until 2028, and with how the 2021 season ended, we reckon that he would rather retire than drive for the Silver Arrows. However, this isn't the case with Leclerc, who's on the verge of losing patience with Ferrari as they continue to be the laughing stock of Formula 1 weekend after weekend. This is exactly where the problem lies for Ferrari. Sacking Binotto isn't going to fix all of the issues for Leclerc and his team, and although he could reunite with an old friend of his, Frédéric Vasseur, it's very unlikely that Frédéric will solve all of the issues with the team if the staff remains the same. This is something that Leo Turini, a renowned journalist from Italy who is very close to Ferrari, spoke about prior to Binotto's decision to resign from Ferrari, adding, Change is not a guarantee of victory. Red Bull is behind and our Ferrari still loses anyway. John Elkin will surely point to Mattia Binotto, the 1-2 finish of Mercedes in Brazil. There are a lot of discussions and it's inevitable to be so. The World Championship has been missing from Ferrari for too long, but that would be a mistake. Why? Since 2008, Ferrari has passed from Jean Tot to Stefano Domenicali, from Marco Mattiacci to Maurizio Arrivabeni, and the result, zero Tituli, to put it as Jose Mourinho. Therefore, it's a very interesting period ahead of us, and nobody can say how it will unfold. We're yet to see how Leclerc and Sainz will perform under a new team principle, and on top of that, Leclerc has yet to climb that extra step and become a championship caliber driver without all of the driver's mistakes he made in 2022. So, what do you think is next for Leclerc and Ferrari? Do you think that he'll join the Silver Arrows from 2025 onwards? Let us know in the comments below.